Welcome back, everyone. This is part 21 of Outer Wilds, and perhaps the last part of this series, so uh, I'm pretty excited to do what we have left to do. Uh, first, let's wake up. Nice. Now, I'm uh, pretty excited to, uh, to record again. It's been uh, about a minute. <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, I actually managed to find uh, a PS5, which I'm using to record right now. Uh, and, well, I was a bit distracted by said PS5, so uh, uh, it, it's been a minute since I recorded last time. Um, what we need to do is to go on the Quantum Moon, and then I want to go to the stranger to um, tell the prisoner everything that happened in this system. When we completed the DLC, there were quite a few things we didn't know, so I kind of want to see him again to tell him everything. So that's going to be the plan. First, we'll go to the Quantum Moon just because uh, I like being, I like going there. So last time, uh, last time, we went to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, uh, which taught us something important, and apparently I missed something, so I might have to come back there. We'll see. Um, Dolomai built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two, the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. Uh, the Nomai built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid in the in the pilgrimage to its sixth location, and yes, we have to have the shrine on the North Pole. So it doesn't seem that way, but we have actually all the the pieces of the puzzle. So let's try to find the good old moon. Uh, that's probably it, right? Unless I didn't scan something. I don't see it, so I I guess it's probably just a a fragment I didn't scan yet. Ah, oh, there it is. Hello, friend. Okay. So, first of all... And put this away. I need to. Uh, no, I don't need to do this. All right, that counts. So I have a picture of the moon, which is actually one of the the rules. And since I have a picture, I can land on the moon, which was kind of crash landing. But let's please don't ref about <laughs> about this. Okay, I'll actually take a picture just in case uh, some funky thing happens. Okay. Ooh, floating sand. Oh, Tiro. All right. So, I think it was Solanum who mentioned that every time we land on the Quantum Moon, um, we get on the South Pole, which is a strange thing, but what are you going to do about it? <laughs> All right. Hello, Shuttle. Solanum, I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I'll make the reminder a reminder of my journey on foot. 
We don't know why the Quantum Moon always welcomes its visitors at the South Pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I'm ready. So am I. Nope, I almost sent the shuttle flying. Oh, goodbye shuttle. Hello, shrine. So, let's see what... Let's see how this can help us. And now we need to remember the other uh, the other rules. First, there was one about taking a picture and watching something is the same thing as uh, you know looking at the picture is the same thing as directly observing it, which we already did. Um, the other rules are um, if we are standing with a quantumly entangled object and cease to observe it, we travel with it, uh, which is what I'll do. I'll close the lights soon and see where it gets us. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Yes. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging, indeed. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Yes. Let's do it. Uh, right, so I'm now orbiting the moon around Dark Bramble. Let's see what this looks like. Well, I don't like it. I think the North Pole is being blocked by vines. Yeah, all right. Let's try to find the tower again. There it is. And Skaploosh. Oops. Skaploosh. Yes. We're orbiting Giants Deep. There is water. Oh, and there's a cyclone. So the North Pole is not accessible. Oh god. I'm kind of I kind of want to find out where Solanum went. Okay. Timber Hearth. Oh! Oh. Well, I guess that was Solanum. And she's entangled with the moon. Oh. Poor Solanum. So I guess, yeah, I guess um, 
when the ghost matter entered the uh, the solar system, uh, even people on the quantum moon were safe from it. Tower, please. Oh, tower. Oh, God. Hello. Okay. Let's get closer to the... Uh, oops. Yeah, let's get closer to the North Pole. The gravity is so low in this, uh, on the moon. Hello. Timber hearth, can we get somewhere now? We're outside of the grove. Oh, yes! So, hello, North Pole. Nice! Are you guys ready? This is so freaking exciting. We're here! And now we're orbiting the eye of the universe. And apparently, according to Nomai... Oh, there it is! Yeah, being close to it, we could kind of see what it looked like. Oh! oh. <gasps> Look! It's Solanum! Oh! I love this moment of the game. Hello. I know who you are. You are Solanum. Where are we? Dot dot dot. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um. Identify. Identify. Identify stone and you stone. Who are you? Solanum. I am Solanum, and you know my my clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Oh I understand. Hey, what if I ask? Explain you. Thank you. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye uh, in the sky above us. So beautiful! Ah, oh. The first time I played this part, I was so speechless to see Solanum. All right, how about identify quantum moon? 
Oh, explain quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now while at the eye. Oh yeah, that's true. Very, very true. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the area surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually become quantum too. Hmm. Identify quantum moon. Thank you. I like reading from you. This is the quantum moon where we were both standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Alright, got to drink, so drink some water. Impor important to stay hydrated. Um, me. And you. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh, I think of you as a friend too. Okay. What do you think? Who do you think I am? I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. <laughs> there are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Oh, I worked hard to understand the, your language. Explain me. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe, indeed. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. No, that's not right. Actually, there's something I didn't find in um, Timber Hearth. I think I'll try to find it. All right. Um, eye of the universe. What do you have to say about the Iron Universe? What is it? Solanum, we're orbiting the Eye of the Universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The Eye is older than the Universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. They were right. That was correct. We found it, actually. Solanum, we found this freaking... I have the universe. I'm heading there soon. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is the only uh, is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, the uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Oops. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Indeed. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time this has become my clan's greatest question. Yeah. All right, you and the eye.
and in my clan I have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to this star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Yeah. Sorry. You and the quantum moon. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have... Uh, oh yeah. Yes. Uh, what about if I ask me and... The quantum moon. Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. I hope so too. And what do you suggest about me and the eye of the universe? Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? Yeah. <laughs> Beats me. I wish there was an option like to hug some of them. This will have to do. But wait. Oh. I can get it closer, I think. Hello. I'm living with this. Ah, this is very good. Uh, actually, what, if, what happens if I launch? An <laughs> emergency scout recall activated. Yeah, all right. I do want to have a picture of us when I leave, though. Perfect. Thank you, Solanum. Oh, hang on. I think I'll do this. This way. Well, I tried. Take care of yourself now. It won't be long. I will go see the eye. Is that the actual eye? Oh boy! Hmm. All right. These. Oh wait, I'm standing right where the tower can be. Oh, hello. I need to. Exit. Uh, no. 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 I'll still go there because we haven't seen the uh, Quantum Moon's version of uh, Brutal Hollow. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. I think my ship must have stayed behind in 
the twins version of the quantum moon. I'll try to go back there. Nope. No. Timber height. Oh god, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Almost made a mistake. Wee Ow. Uh, I also could just meditate and uh, start over. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'll do that. All oh, right. Um, I think I'm missing like a a potential mining site on Timber Hearth. We found the actual ore mining site, the one they used to find the ore for the uh, Astrid Project's shell. But there was also another one that they abandoned. Don't remember where, how to find, but I'll do my best. I think this is the real mining site. Uh, I'll just see if there's a teleporter here. Huh, doesn't look like it. Oh, hello, scout. Yeah, I think... Oh, no, yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's the real mine. That's the seed of Dark Bramble, yeah. Ugh. Does anything happen if I jump into a geyser? Oh god. You know what? I have time. I'll check it out. Oh god. And also hit. Oh god. <laughs> I've never done that before.
Where am I going? Hello. I'm assuming that this is probably just a way out. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. All right. Oh god. <laughs> oh, is that the Quantum Grove? Okay. Let's see how I can progress. Ah, oh, I think that's it. Yeah, <laughs> look, they found us when we were fish. Curious, after closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of the cave's pools. So, unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. Hang on, I'll just wait until the... Uh... Ah, the sound won't stop, I think. Okay. Sikad, there are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about site 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. Oh no, this sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our rock there. Sikad, site 2B is safe. Claudius says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effects uh, on life here. Claudius, on the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here uh, is quite robust. So I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Oh, They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor, Meadowy, once told me about, from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life, life forms greatly. Sikad, I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped me. They're fascinating. I wonder what, what their fourth eye does. <laughs> Oh, they were so so nice. Just to be careful of the uh, the life on the planet. Like they they saved the native plants in. Uh, oh, so it's just below uh, side to to uh, to be. Um, they were very careful not to damage the native plants when they excavated Ash Twin. Uh, they didn't want to interfere with uh, the Harthians. They, they were so considerate. I love them. Where is the ship? Oh, it's on the other side of the planet. Well then. Ow. Let's meditate. <laughs> That will, give, that will give me more time to uh, go back to the stranger, I think. Okay. Hang on, I think I messed up my microphone. Okay, that should do. Slate! I met Saranum! Uh... Okay. To the stranger. Uh, 
Euh, yes. Nice. The Nomai discovered a species of four-eyed semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mine. It was me. <laughs> oh wait. Okay. It's feeling weird to go back to the stranger after so long. I wish we knew what the prisoner's name was. Okay. Oh, also, I think I heard in the uh, the patch notes that they kind of changed uh, things with the prisoner to give like a a sense of uh, conclusion to that story arc, which uh, <laughs> which is pretty handy because, uh, well. I didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> and I guess I wasn't the only one being confused about, like, what do I do now? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, God. I don't deserve to be alive. <laughs> I should have taken some damage there. <laughs> Okay. Goodbye. I need to die. I'm roasting like a marshmallow. <laughs> okay. Oh, also, <laughs> off camera, I tested some things. Um, namely, I wanted to know what happens if the uh, the strangers catch me um, when I try to enter the house uh, without a lamp because apparently we can just drop the lamp uh, I thought like maybe they'll let me go maybe they'll let me live nope they uh, adjust my my spine <laughs> and they break me <laughs> So I found that pretty funny. Okay. Yay!
You can't wake me up. I'm dead. All right, I'll just leave this here because I didn't bring my notes with me. So I'll just do this the old fashioned way. Okay. Oh, we can see their uh, their cones of vision. Very nice. Knock knock. I do remember how scared I got when I got here and thought I was about to get murdered. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? I like how those are just the same question we ask to uh, some of them too. We have two questions when we meet sentient life and they are just where am I and who are you? <laughs> I'm very confused. Sorry that happened to you.
I thought there was going to be more. Like, I hoped that we could tell the prisoner that we uh, we know where the eye is and that I'm going to go there now. So many things I wish I could tell this guy. Oh. I think the only thing um, that it added was that uh, how the Nomai died. That would be very nice. All right. Time to go. Goodbye. All right. Great. So for most of this uh, last bit that I want to do, uh, I won't talk because I think the music and the things that happen are so, so good that I don't want to uh, cover them with my voice. So. What I'm going to do is I I need to go to Ashtwin and I need to get uh, well the advanced warp core and then I will go back to the vessel through Dark Bramble uh, attempt not to get eaten by uh, some uh, anglerfish Oh god. And input the coordinates of the eye of the universe in the uh, the vessel. Hopefully that will permit us to just make the journey to go to the eye of the universe. I do need some sand to drain, though. I'll put my ship here for now. I think that will do. Well, I meant to have the time to go say hi to church.
Hello, Trout. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I think it's your first launch went well, then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. I understand now. I hope you're doing well. Uh, what are you up to? No, I have a question for you. I found something. Um... I found a modern normal transmission saying the universe is dying. You... What? I... Don't, uh... What? You mean to say there are modern normal in other par parts of space? And they believe the universe... All of it, th the whole thing, is dying. Currently. Right now. If... If that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? The supernovae were there, but I... But... I've been su studying the stars for... Well, what does it matter if... Oh, I'm very sorry, but I have to look at my charts. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, Church. I... I'll fix it. I'll make sure you're not scared that way again. But surely I would have seen some kind of other sign of the supernova, so perhaps... Hmm. Sorry, Church. Okay, I think I'll just prop this right here on the buckle. Hop. And wait for the sand. All right, here it comes. I'll let you guys enjoy this part.
Outer Wilds Venture was funded by Feldspar, Gusan, Slate, and Hornfels to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. The Noma never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. The radio tower on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and housed some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. One of these photos revealed the existence of an invisible ring, world inhabited by a species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. This species traveled by, from a nearby star system in search of the eye of the universe, but horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye's signal so that no one else would ever find it. One in individual, however, rebelled against this decision and was able to briefly release the eye's signal back into space before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire star system almost instantly and without warning. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. Hmm. This is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, then everything uh, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we separate? Did the uh, universe have a beginning?
Do you hear music? It's um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time. It might not even exist here. The quiet shade. Across old bark. In the ancient glade. It's always dark. Hey, time pal. So we're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, go find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me.
hatchling, you found me. Nice to have a company around our campfire, isn't it? Go on, go get the others. Wouldn't want, wouldn't want him to miss out. When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind were always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I'm still of my kind. And you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stay in your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Join us. Let's see what happens. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes. But if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. This fire, what a warm and beautiful light it makes. Go, find the others. What comes next cannot be done alone. Shall I begin? Yes. Well then, here I go. 
Should I begin? Yes. You got it. I'll do my best. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Yes. Ha! <laughs> this should be cool. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yes. Aha! Here goes nothing. I can't wait to play the, with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes. Okay, I won't let you down. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes. This song is new to me, but I'm honored to be part of it. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. And then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yes. I'm a curiosity friend. Let's find out together. I tell you what, this has been really fun. But I've got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? You cut it a little close, don't you think? <laughs> well, it worked. Uh, it worked out alright in the end, I suppose. Ah, uh, I hope there are beasties in the next one. Wow. How long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. How beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's... you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's um, time for something new now. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning, but I think the rules are about to change. That game is so good. I'm so happy I got to record it and make a, a series out of it. And that ending always makes me a bit emotional. It's so good. It was the first time seeing the stranger there, so I very much enjoyed it. 
Uh, I think there's something after the credits, so I'll let you enjoy the music.
<laughs> Heck yeah. We did it. Our universe had to end, but we... We made uh, another one. I love that ending. That, that ending. And I lost my scout, so there it was, 14 billion years later. <laughs> so that'll be it for the official playthrough. There are, there are um, a few other endings that I can get. Um, and I might actually make a like a bonus episode of this series to explore the, uh, the endings and maybe the, uh, the trophies. Uh, but we'll see. I'll think about it. Um, so that's going to be it for now. I hope you had a good time watching this series and I will see you in the next project I make. So take care for now. Have a good day, a good evening or a good night, whatever the case may be. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.